Hello, reader, and thank you for joining me for another spelling lesson. Today we are on My View Literacy, Unit 3, Lesson 1. Our skill is related words, and our story of the week is out of my mind, or at least an excerpt. Um, we are going to be working, as I said, on related words. Related words have word parts that are spelled the same but are often pronounced differently. For example, tutorial and tutoring both have the base word tutor, but are they pronounced a little bit different in the way they're said. We're going to go through our typical routine. We're going to say the word, count the syllables, say the word again, spell it, and of course we smash it, T-U-T-O-R, and then we say tutor, and we're going to write it, and then we're going to circle the related words. For some of these words, the whole word is their related words. For some, it's just a piece. Um, obviously for tutor, it's going to be the whole word. All right, with that said, let's get started. Our first word, tutor. A tutor is someone who gives private lessons to one student or a very small group of students. Count the syllables. Tu, tur, tutor. Let's spell it. T-U-T-O-R, tutor. And let's write it. And as usual, I'm going to spell it out loud so you don't have to look back and forth from the screen. T-U-T-O-R. I'm going to circle that whole word. Maria asked for a tutor, someone who helps students understand their lessons. Our next word is breath. Say breath. Your breath is the air that you let out through your mouth when you breathe. Count the syllables. Breath. Let's spell it. B-R-E-A-T-H. Breath. And let's write it. B R E A T H. We're going to circle the whole word again. After running the race, John struggled with the air he was trying to breathe in. He couldn't catch his breath. Our next word is crumb. Say crumb. Crumbs are tiny pieces that fall from bread, cookies, or cake when you cut it or eat it. Count the syllables. Crumb. A lot of one-syllable words this week. Let's spell it. C-R-U-M-B. Crumb. And let's write it. C-R-U-M-B. Circle the whole word again. I found a big cookie. And there was a tiny crumb next to it. Our next word is breathe. Say breathe. When people or animals breathe, they take air into their lungs and they let it out again. Count the syllables. Breathe. Let's spell it. B-R-E-A-T-H-E. -E, breathe. And let's write it. B-R-E-A-T-H-E. -E. And we're not circling the whole word. We're just circling that part that we said, breath, but it's pronounced differently now. When you get anxious, you need to breathe big breaths, which means to take air into your lungs to calm down. The next word is production. Say production. The production of something is its creation, which could include the process of organizing and preparing for something. Count the syllables. Production. Production. Let's spell it. P R O D U C T I O N. Production. And let's write it. P R O D U C T I O N. I'm going to circle product, which of course sounds different than production. The production of the new movie, its creation and filming, took almost a year to complete. The next word is triple. Triple means consisting of three things or parts. Count the syllables. tri pull Triple. Let's spell it. T-R-I-P-L-E. Triple. And let's write it. T-R-I-P-L-E. 
I P L E. I'm going to circle the entire word. You'll see it how it's related shortly. The price of the tickets tripled, unlike last year when they remained the same. Our next word is health. Say health. A person's health is the condition of their body. Count the syllables. Health. Another one with just one. Let's spell it. H-E-A-L-T-H. Health. And let's write it. H-E-A-L-T-H. And let's circle that entire word again. Eating vegetables is good for your health or your well-being. Those could be synonymous. Our next word is relate. Say relate. The way that two things relate, or the way that one thing relates to another, is the sort of connection that, ex that exists between them. Let's count the syllables. Re-late. Relate. Let's spell it. R-E-L-A-T-E. -E. Relate. And let's write it. R-E-L-A-T-E. -E. And we'll circle that entire word again. It's hard for me to relate to his experience since it's so different from mine. Our next word is medical. Say medical. Medical means relating to illness and injuries and to their treatment or prevention. Let's count the syllables. med -i -cool. Medical. Let's spell it. M-E-D-I-C-A. L, medical, and let's write it, M-E-D-I-C-A-L. We're going to circle medic, because that's the related word. The nurse gave her medical advice, explaining everything related to health care. Our next word is imagine. Say imagine. If you imagine something, you think about it and your mind forms a picture or idea about it. Let's count the syllables. M -a -g -e -n. Imagine. Let's spell it. I M A G I N E. Imagine. And let's write it. I M A G I N E. E. And we're going to circle that first part of the word. It would be part of the word ima image that it's imagine. Because when you, you use, when you imagine, you create an image. Close your eyes and imagine or picture in your mind the place you want to visit. The next word is medic. Say medic. A medic is a doctor or a medical student. Count the syllables. Med, ik, medic. Let's spell it. M e d i c, medic. And let's write it. M e d i c. We'll circle that entire word. If you remember the word medical, that's where it was related. The medic tried to help, but unlike the doctor, he couldn't perform surgery. Our next word is triplet. Say triplet. Triplets are three children born at the same time to the same mother. Count the syllables. Triplet. Triplet. Let's spell it. T R I P L E T. Triplet. And let's write it. T R I P L E T. And we're going to circle triple from earlier. Mia's mother gave birth to triplets, which means three babies born at the same time. That's a lot. The next word is compose. Say compose. If you compose something, such as a letter, poem, or speech, you write it, often using a lot of concentration or skill. Let's count the syllables. C 
Compose. Compose. Let's spell it. C O M P O S E. Compose. And let's write it. C O M P O S E. And we're going to circle the entire word. Sarah likes to compose songs, writing and creating music from her ideas. The next word is heal. Say heal. When a broken bone or a other injury heals, or if someone or something heals, it, it becomes healthy and normal again. Let's, whoops, I think I skipped one. We're going to spell it H E A L. Deal. I think I got it out of order. Count the syllables. Heal. And let's write it. H E A L. And we're going to circle that whole word. Part of the word health was the word heal. The cut on my arm began to heal. Now it's much better. The next word is composition. Say composition. When you talk about the composition of something, you are referring to the way in which its various parts are put together and arranged. Let's count the syllables. Composition. Composition. Let's spell it. C-O-M-P-O-S-I-T-I-O-N. Composition. And let's write it. C O M P O S I T I O N. We're going to circle the beginning of that word, C O M P O S, like the word compose, but it's composition. Notice how it sounds a little different. In art class, we learned how to create a composition or the arrangement of elements in a picture. Our next word is image. Say image. If you have an image of something or someone, you have a picture of, or idea of them in your mind. Let's count the syllables. M -idge. Image. Let's spell it. I-M-A-G-E. Image. And let's write it. I-M-A-G-E. We're going to circle the whole word. The image or picture of the sunset was so beautiful that everyone stopped to look. Our next word is crumble. Say crumble. If something crumbles, or if you crumble it, it breaks into a lot of small pieces. <clears throat> Let's count the syllables. Crumble. Crumble. Let's spell it. C-R-U-M-B-L-E. Crumble. And let's write it. C R U M B L E. And we're going to circle the word crumb, which we did earlier. Um, that's the related word. And the old cookie started to crumble, unlike the new fresh ones that stayed together. Our next word is relative. Say relative. Your relatives are the members of your family. Count the syllables. Rel a tiv. Relative. Let's spell it. R E L A T I V E. Relative. And let's write it. R E L A T I V E. <clears throat> We're going to start at the beginning of that word. That was part of the word relate. My cousin is my closest relative but my neighbor is not part of my family. The next word is tutorial. Say tutorial. A tutorial is a lesson or a set of instructions that teaches someone how to do something. I guess this video could be one. Count the syllables. Tu, tor, e, ol. Tutorial. Let's spell it. T, u, t, o, r, I A L tutorial. And let's write it. T U T O R I A L. We're going to circle tutor. 
which is one of our words earlier, the teacher gave us a tutorial, a step-by-step guide on how to solve the math problem. The next word is product. Say product. A product is something that is produced and sold, sometimes in large quantities, often as a result of a manufacturing process. Let's count the syllables. Product. Product. Let's spell it. P R O D U C T. Product. And let's write it. P R O D U C T. And we're going to circle the beginning of that word. The related word was, pro was produce. And that's the beginning part of that. The new product sold well, unlike the old version that no one wanted to buy. And that was our last word. Thanks for sticking around until the end. And until next time, happy reading.